Hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC, primarily arises in a cirrhotic liver, where chronic injury leads to repeated inflammation, fibrinogenesis, and disordered liver architecture. Cirrhotic livers exhibit focal lesions, areas of abnormal, immature hepatocytes that are predisposed to malignant transformation. Chronic viral infections, such as hepatitis B and C, also promote carcinogenesis through enhanced hepatocyte turnover and increased mutation rates. Hepatocellular carcinomas are phenotypically and genetically heterogeneous tumors driven by diverse molecular mechanisms. The identification of common genomic alterations has led to the development of targeted therapies that suppress hepatic carcinogenesis through multiple pathways. Multi-kinase inhibitors have been developed that simultaneously target key regulators in angiogenesis, tumorigenesis, and metastasis. Hepatocellular carcinoma is a hypervascular tumor. The initiation, growth, and metastasis of HCC relies on angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels from pre-existing vascular beds. Genetic changes in local hypoxia in tumors leads to the secretion of soluble angiogenic factors that activate resting endothelial cells in adjacent blood vessels. These angiogenic factors, such as vascular endothelial growth factor, are upregulated in most human tumors to help supply adequate oxygen and nutrients to the growing tumor. VEGF binds to the VEGF receptor, a tyrosine kinase receptor located on endothelial cells that promotes the activation, proliferation, and migration of these cells. Tumor-induced upregulation of VEGF is associated with increased tumor growth and poor prognosis. Several multi-kinase inhibitors have been developed that block the activity of VEGFR, preventing the formation of new blood vessels in tumors. Fibroblast growth factor is also upregulated in the majority of HCC cases. FGF and VEGF act synergistically to stimulate tumor-induced neovascularization. FGF has also been implicated in tumor cell proliferation, survival, and invasion. Inhibition of this signaling pathway induces apoptosis of HCC cells. Lenvatinib and regorafenib block the activity of the FGF receptor, decreasing tumor vascularization and proliferation. Another angiogenic factor, platelet-derived growth factor, is required for the recruitment of smooth muscle cells and parasites that surround and support new blood vessels. Several multi-kinase inhibitors, including lenvatinib, serafinib, and regorafenib, limit neovascularization by blocking the activity of the PDGF receptor. Multi-kinase inhibitors may also prevent tumor growth and proliferation by blocking the activity of several other tyrosine kinase receptors, such as KIT or RET. Activation of tyrosine kinase receptors initiates complex intracellular signaling pathways that promote cell growth, proliferation, survival, and differentiation. These receptors are often overexpressed or mutated in cancer cells. Tumor progression usually involves the action of multiple kinase pathways and targeting several receptors simultaneously with multi-kinase inhibitors may provide a synergistic effect and reduce the possibility of drug resistance. 